Hi guys, it's Miss Becca with today's book. This week, we are doing some of my favorite stories, and most of them are Skippy John Jones books, and they're by Judy Shackner. I love Skippy John's imagination, and I think we can all learn from him and his great ideas. This one is Skippy John Jones in the doghouse. Remember, you guys can comment on Class Dojo and tell me your favorite book, and I'll try and read your favorite books this month. Between the hours of 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., Skippy John Jones created his finest piece of artwork ever. It went up and down on all around the newly painted hall. And this rubbed his mama's fur the wrong way. Drop that crayon right now, Mr. Doodlepaws, commanded Mama Junebug Jones. You're not the boss of me, said Skippy John Jones. In your dreams, Mr. Beans, said Mama. I cannot believe that in two quiet hours you cover the walls with those cockeyed chihuahuas, she scolded. You are not a chihuahua, you are a naughty Siamese cat. And you need a time out. Think about that. The kitty boy did not budge. But Junebug Jones could be very persuasive. If you think more like a cat, said she said, Mama will catch you a mouse big and fat. I'll dip it in butter and roll it in cheese. All you must do is think Siamese. And stay out of your closet, or you'll really be in the doghouse, she added, putting him into his room. In fact, Skippy John Jones was thinking before Mama Junebug Jones ever left. He was thinking of bouncing. Doghouse, repeated Skippy John Jones, beginning to bounce. First he bounced high, then he bounced low, pointing his rear to the chair down below. Everyone knows from my big ears to my toes, I'm not a Siamese cat. I'm Skippy John Jones, a chihuahua to my bones, and that's what I think about that. But he missed the chair and went careening into a pile of stuffed animals. Holy jalapeno! exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling a bird from his ear. The little bird says there's a babalito in the doghouse. Quicker than you can say, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones. The kitty boy climbed into his mask and cape. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he began to sing. Oh, my name is Gabito Bresquito, and I heard from my little birdito that the doggies have fled from the gobbling head who goes by the name Babalito. Down the hall, Mama and the girls squeezed together on the couch for a little TV. Can Skippy John watch Quiz Kitties with us? asked Jilly Boo. Not right now, Pigeon Puff, answered Mama. Skipper Doodle still has some serious Siamese thinking to do. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was thinking Chihuahua. Quiet as a cotton ball, Skippito rolled into his closet. He blew past a boulder, chugged up a hill, and arrived alongside a shack perched two bones shy of the end of the world. Where the hakito am I? wondered Skippito aloud. The place bloomed with sniffing noses. Who wants to know? growled a voice from inside. It is I, El Scapito Fresquito, the great sword fighter, the great bumba beetle eater, the great fly defeater, the great spider biter, the greatest poco perrito of all, said Scapito. Suddenly, a rope cut through the air. 
with a snap eagle, and it wrapped around his paw. Whoa, said Scapito, as he flew under the curtains and into the shack. The house was full of chihuahuas. They were cavorting in the cupboards and splashing in the sink. They were chilling in the ice cube trays and melting into drinks. And sitting right in the middle of the mayhem was his old amigos, Los Chimichangos. Hola, Scapito, Don, D said, Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, grinned. We have been waiting for you, dude. Si, sí, Scapito, said Poquito Tito. Yesterday morning, we left the house to buy some beans, and at night when we returned, a babalito was in la casa perrito. Not in their little dog house, exclaimed Scapito. Uh-huh, said Poquito Tito. He's a banatica and so dramatica, and he bobbles and nods in our attica. He must be a pain in the sky attica, said Scapito. He's a yes man. Said, added, added Don Diego, and then all of the doggies nodded. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. A jumbo little pain, agreed Popo, Popo Datito. You are, and you are just what the dog tour ordered. This made all the Pochitos feel so good, they began to sing and dance. First, you turn the music way up loud, then you nod your little head up and down, and you wag your little tail back and forth to the chimichanga rumba and the cha cha cha. Stop it! You are killing me, dudes! Enough of the monkey business, said Poquito Tito, as he pulled Scapito outside and over to a giant tortilla. Lie down and close your eyes, ordered Poquito Tito. Por qué? asked Scapito nervously. Because, dude said Poquito Tito. At five o'clock, Abuela Crespito was spilled of frijoles. At Cinco Bells, a chihuahua as old as Montezuma popped out of the holy boulder, and Patui, she brought forth four, be four three beans. It's a three-beaner, declared the perritos, and they rolled Scapito into a three-bean burrito. Now, we are sure to have good luck. Then the burrito was packed onto the skateboard with the rest of the pochitos, and together they rolled over the cliff into the valley of the dogs, singing as they went. Yes, sirree, sirito. It's the return of our boy, Escapito. A bird in his ear said we needed him here. It's kaboom to the big babalito. Most chimichangos and the burrito blew into the town of Pato Pato Ganzo faster than a flea on a flying furball. To the right of the square stood La Casa Perrito. Mira, Scapito, howled Don Diego. The nodding Babalito is up in the Attica. But Scapito was too scared to look. The Perritos did not give a hootito about Scapito's jitters. They just wanted the Babalito out. And he was the dog for the job. With one big flourish, the perritos unrolled the tortilla and tossed the kitty boy up and the beans up, up, up into the air until he landed on the roof of the doghouse. Go get him, Scapito, cried the Puchitos. Oh, Mamalita, cried Scapito, catching a glimpse of the hulking Babalito. Oingy boingy bouncy bouncy. Scapito flashed his naughty monkey eyes and lunged straight for the head of the babalito. Yee-haw-ito! hollered Scapito as he took the ride of his life. And in no time flat, the kitty boy brought that babalito right down to size. Faster than you can say chili chewing chihuahuas, he grabbed the, it the itty bitty kitty babalito and stuffed him into his pants. Lickety splickety, rickety tickety, Scapito rolled the railing, rode the railing all the way down to the front door.
and he bounced into the good night air, landing right in the middle of the fluffy white tortilla. Los Chimichangos rolled Scapito up snug as a bug and began to chant, Muchas gracias, Skippy dango, bye babalito, boogie woogie tango, muchos puchos, looky tiki mango, gozo bozo, chimichimi tango. One more time! Muchas gracias, Skippy dippy dango, bye babalito, boogie woogie tango, muchos puchos, looky tiki mango, gozo bozo, chimichimi tango. And they carried the purrito all the way back to his room. With quiz kitties over, Mama Junebug Jones directed her ears towards Skippy John's very quiet room. Hmm, mused Mama. I wonder what he's up to. She told the girl to go take a peek. He's all wrapped up in my old white blankie, said Jezebel. And he's talking to my itty bitty kitty bobblehead, said Jujubee. Maybe he's thinking Siamese, added Jilly Boo. Really? asked Mama. Oh, he's such a little crumb cake. But Skippy John was not thinking Siamese. He was still thinking Chihuahua. You like mice and beans, Skippy John? Asked Bobblehead. He touched the nose of the itty bitty kitty's nose. He touched the tip of the itty bitty kitty's nose with the tip of his blanket. The Bobblehead just nodded. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Me too, said Skippy John Jones. Well, I hope you enjoyed our book. It's pretty funny how he thinks of these things with, the, with little stuffed doggies in his closet. I hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.